guys, we're back. We actually have a Sunday show now, but what I'm working on, and I just decided to start doing it this morning, because just to show people, honestly, if you get the most unlikely dog, and you can shape this in them, and let me get you guys a little bit closer here so you can see. And I'm going to tell you why I would say that this dog is an unlikely candidate for this, for a couple reasons. I mean, the breed... And Janet, I hope you're there, because I'm doing this for you. It's a very difficult case. I'm going to tell you why. One, it's a very stubborn little dog. Two, I've never seen the dog pick anything up. You know, I've got some of these labs out here, and really Benjamin. I mean, before I started working with Benjamin, he would always pick the bottles up anyway that the other ones had brought outside. So, you know, this dog, I have to tell you, I've, it doesn't pick anything up. It doesn't carry anything. I've never seen it play with toys. So, and it's deaf. So, what I've come up with, and Cher, I hope you're watching, because I've come up with a new hand signal, and I, I had it before, a long time ago, but I think it's very good for this. And so I just started this this morning, and if you said, what do you need for this? I think a dog, one that you haven't touched all over the place, and two, just a hungry dog, you know, it's a hungry dog, it's not, you can kind of keep going as long as they're hungry. So if you're just saying, well, this is the food. So I've got him up to the point of, ah! Oh, and he's awful. Um, pushing it with his nose. So that's where I'm at. And I just started this morning and I just did two or three little sessions and I'm already giving it value by, I think just by doing this. So I'm gonna just put it there if he, So, he, so that's my hand signal. And if you said, well, it's, it's, it's still very, it's overt, but it's not coming at the dog. And if you said, well, that means love to a dog because it's looked like you're wagging a tail. I'd say I believe that more than I believe, you know, slapping them and rubbing them and doing all these things means love. And you, I, I think, you know, if you can make, if you said, well, what are you doing? I'm making it happen faster. You can make something happen fast. And if he's, he's saying to himself, oh, it's happy, it's happy. And if he starts to do that, I just move it over to here. Yeah, then you can even do that. giving him the little wink and the nod and I think you have to have that too I think you have to have the if it looks at it and looks at you you've got to have the wink and the nod thing going on you know and I think you can temper it pop, 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 pop. I just made this up this morning. I told Mike yesterday I was thinking about doing it. Just because it's a very unlikely dog to be able to do it. I've never seen it pick anything up. It has no interest in toys. You know, it's a good little house dog. Uh, you know, he doesn't chew anything up. He's never chewed anything up. I say that. You know, people always say that. I'm sure he has. I just forgot. But this is what I did. If you're there, Janet, I just kept moving him out of my eye line with my love affair, with my... All right, now this, I'm going to tell you, this is going to be the beginning of the sequence. He's going to come over here. He's going to push it. <laughs> so if you said what happened, I inadvertently created that sequence.
and it might be a good thing. It might be a good thing. If he comes back over here and defaults to a down, then I am, I'm, I'm already putting together a sequence. You know, and, and, you know, you should put together sequences, but you can always change them. That's why it's a sequence. You can change the sequence. You said you're turning him into a peanut pusher. I see that. <laughs> All right, so I already know. Anyway, I like this hand signal, Cher, if you're there. I think it's... If you said, you know, what does it look like to them, you could temper it to make it look like, you know, you know, that's your tail wagging. And honestly, you could use that later. You could use that later to switch your timeline around. If you needed them to do something, you could do that. You could do that first, and then they would do it. And I'm still, I'm, I'm able to just keep looking at the thing. He can tell what I'm thinking. That was almost my sequence. You know, I'm not sure you shouldn't add down right in the beginning, maybe. But I'm not coming at the dog at all. <laughs> he almost bit it. He bit at it that time. You know, and again, if you're saying, if we, if, you know, if we've taught dogs to augment things, you know, there's only so many ways you can augment this. You can push it around, you can kick it around, you can pick it up, you know, there's a very limited. So he's already picked up on this. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do it first and then that's gonna make him. No, he almost bit it that time. All right, guys, I'm out of treats, but I, and I'm just going to end it right there with that. I know it's tempting to kind of go on. Um, hi, Monica. I hope you saw that. Yeah, I was so jealous of Honey Bear. I mean, Honey Badger uh, doing all these things that I said, you know, I don't, I don't give a damn. This one is going to do it, too, because he's absolutely awful. And I think his ears will stand up by the top. His ears used to stand up. I don't know what happened. He got evil. Anyway, but he doesn't, and I think you guys, you know, I want to help you guys get, like, a profile thing, Monica, that you guys can, like, have people fill out before they bring the dog. There's so many things that they really just don't tell you. You have to learn to read between the lines, but, you know, if it is dogs that pick things up and carry them around, it's, you know, I think you guys should have a class of, you know, teaching that. It isn't that hard. So, anyway, guys, I will be right back with um, another little shape retrieve situation. Mm -hmm.